Good morning, Modern Stutters. Today, we're gonna to be taking a break from the off-grid outdoor kitchen build. But if you haven't seen any of those videos, I'm gonna put a link to our off-grid outdoor kitchen project right here. It's looking pretty good. We've been busy doing the off-grid outdoor kitchen project, and we haven't had a chance to do too much with the pig pen. We've been getting a lot of rain, and pigs like to root, so it's getting pretty muddy. I'm gonna bring you in here and show you what I'm talking about. Good morning, girls. So pigs being pigs, they love to root and dig. They're making a couple of low spots in front of their feeder and in front of their water. We're gonna fix that this morning. Let's get to it. We gotta get in here with our tractor. And we had these logs all nice and neatly piled up and the pigs moved them around because they wanted to get the bugs that were under the log pile. So we're just going to move these so we can get the tractor through. We'll pile them up in another spot and maybe it'll cause some bugs to come over here and the pigs will move them around again. If we get bugs, the pigs will eat it and it'll give them some more protein and it'll be free food. work with nature this apple tree being fallen over the way it is is making a nice spot to stack the wood we were looking for this dish the other day it's way back here and it belongs over there so what we have noticed is the pigs act just like kids. If there's something in the dish that they want and they don't want to share, they'll bite onto the dish, pick it up, and as you saw, they hit it over there from the other pig. Let's unplug our fence. We're actually gonna need to replace the battery. Our gate's here, but the apple tree wasn't doing that when we put the gate in. All the weight of those apples have just made that limb fall down pretty low to the ground. I was trying to figure out the best way to get the tractor in. I think I can squeeze it through right here. We can't go this way, which is the way we designed to get in and out of, because all the apple tree branches are so low right now. Move some lumber from the Austin Outdoor Kitchen build. Just enough room to get through. Let's pick up some apples too. So we're not making applesauce. I was sitting in the outdoor kitchen the other night editing the video. And I'm sitting out here and all I hear is thud, 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 thud. Apples falling off the apple tree.
So some people might look at the pigs digging and rooting and making mud holes as a problem. I look at it as a solution. They're gonna take my wood chips, fill in their holes, turn in their poop and urine with the wood chips. They're gonna eat it. They're gonna have fun with it. They're gonna turn it into good bacon and I'm gonna get some awesome soil when they're all done. Look how happy they are. Look at that. Did you see? look at the plow on their nose? Just look at that. We're gonna have to go get them at least three or four more bucket loads. What do you think, Mrs. Pigs? That's hog heaven, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You like that spot? You like that, huh? You like that? Good morning to you too. Let me go get some more for you. Now tell me those aren't the happiest pigs you've ever seen. What do you think, two more bucket loads for today? That'll keep you happy for a while? Yep, I think so. No way, those are my wood chips. I'm not sharing them with you. Get out of here.
Now I could spread them all out for them, but, and fill in the holes nicely, but I'll let the pigs take care of that work for us. And they're having fun doing it. Did you find something good in there, Mrs. Pigs? We're gonna leave the pile like this. We're gonna head off to work and we come back this afternoon, we'll come back out here and we'll see what they've done with it. All right, now that we're home from work, let's go check on the pigs and see how they did with the wood chip pile and then we'll move them out into pasture. We'll let them run, they always love to do that. I mowed it down in here a little bit while I was in here with the Kubota. Oh, do you piggies wanna come out? Do you want to come out? Yeah. We're going to check and see how much work you got done while we were gone at work. Oh, they want to come out and play. They did a pretty good job spreading it out. It's not completely spread, but we'll leave it for them. And we'll let them finish it. What are you doing? You're silly. Those apples good. Gina and Olivia did a good job getting them all out here for you, huh? Some good apples. You're crazy. What? What? Is that a good apple? Huh? That's a nice ham right there. We'll tenderize it. And that's how we're going to take two problems and turn them into one solution. We had a big old mud hole and we had wood chips. Well, we're going to turn them into awesome compost and let our pigs do all the work for us. Huh? And we're going to take all of our abundance of apples that have fallen on the ground that aren't ripe yet and turn them into bacon. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping our channel grow. We just hit 9,500 subscribers. Thank you, Modern Steaders, for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.